All right, all right, all right. It looks like I am live. So I wanted to hop on to do a webinar um, to provide some tips and some information, some information on why it's important to um, hire a travel agent in 2023. If you are looking to plan a trip this year or even next year, um, you're trying to start early, right? So <clears throat> I wanted to provide some, some tips for you and talk about the reasons why travel advisors are still important and still assist people with planning trips uh, in 2023 and, and beyond. Um, so the reason why I wanted to do this webinar is because you might be asking, why should I use a travel agent rather than just booking online, right? Because we have so many sites where you can definitely book travel online. And this also came to be because years ago, I went to a networking event. And when I went to that networking event, uh, there was a gentleman that I spoke with pretty frequently at that networking event. And he and I told him what I did. And he was saying, oh, do travel agents still exist? Travel advisors. I'm like, yes, we do. <laughs> so um, that's why I was thinking about this and also decided to create a webinar to talk about the 12 reasons to use a travel agent um, and why we still do definitely help people to, to book trips. Um, so uh, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So I also did real quickly want to provide some information about myself. My name is Latoya Haynes Piper. If you have landed on my page, it is Travel Romantic Getaways. Um, but maybe you you really don't know who I am or what I do. So I've been in business since 2018. I've been working with clients in the romance travel niche or niche. Um, and I focus on working with couples to help them plan um, a number of things in the romance travel niche, which is uh, romantic getaways. So romantic getaways can be when couples are trying to get away from the hustle and bustle of everyday life, work priorities and things like that. And they are looking to just relax for a few days. Maybe it can be a week or more. Um, so I definitely do help couples to plan romantic getaways. And the romantic getaways can be like adults only resorts. Um, they may even decide to do um, family resorts. It really just depends on their preference. So uh, yeah, I do romantic getaways. And then one of my biggest clientele is anniversary getaways. So I do have couples that come to me that, of course, they have an anniversary every year because when you get married, you do have an anniversary every year. You know exactly when you got married. Um, so they come to me and say, hey, I'm looking to book an anniversary getaway with my spouse. Can you um, can you uh, help us with that? So I do definitely also help couples to book their anniversary getaways. Family vacations is something that I decided to do more of as well. Um, so this can be when couples want to uh, book a family vacation with the kiddos. They, you know, decided, OK, we don't want to just do a romantic getaway where it's just myself and my spouse. We also definitely want to this time around do a family vacation. And so uh, I do help couples to book family vacations with the kiddos and pick out the resort that they want. And uh, I also, uh, which I want to do more of, is do vow renewals for couples. So uh, let me say this real quickly. <laughs> a lot, we we know that destination weddings and weddings, weddings get a lot of praise, okay? And there's nothing wrong with weddings. I love them too. Uh, but our vow renewals, we don't get enough of those. But my, my vow renewals, they don't, they don't, uh, it, that's not really a celebration like uh, weddings uh, are. And like I said, weddings are something that are very, you know, it's a once in a lifetime type of thing. You do remember it. Remember it. Um, uh, but vow renewals are just as important. And I love doing vow renewals because to me, it really sets the tone of a couple that have went through the trials and tribulations, the learning experiences, have went through some things together and still made it, you know, whether it's a a three year, they're celebrating their three year anniversary um, or they're ce celebrating five years and they want to turn their anniversary getaway into a vow renewal or they want to do something different. And the thing with vow renewals that I think a lot of people don't really know is that vow renewals are very you know, less people, it's a little bit more intimate. 
Um, you can definitely turn that anniversary getaway if you want to do something different into a vow renewal. You can even do a vow renewal where it's just you and your spouse or maybe you, your spouse and your kids. Right. So, um, yeah, I do vow renewals as well. And I think we need to put a little bit more love into the vow renewals. <laughs> um, but I, I really love uh, talking to couples about setting up their vow renewals as well. And uh, most of the trips that I plan are in the Caribbean. They're also in the United States as well as in Mexico. And they're all inclusive trips. So this is what I've uh, this is what I do. I've been doing it since uh, 2018, and it mainly came about to be uh, for us focusing specifically on the romance travel niche. Was when I took my husband back in 2019. Uh, we went to the Riviera Maya, Cancun for an excursion, um, and he had a blast. And to be honest with you, we have been together for a long time. And never really took a trip. Like we took a business trip, but that was for him to support me. We never really took a trip trip. So when uh, we decided to go on a vacation for his birthday, um, he just lit up, especially when we did the excursion, with, which he went to, uh, he snorkeled. Um, I stayed in the boat because I don't know how to swim. <laughs> That's something I definitely need to work on. Uh, but he had a blast and that just allowed me to feel so happy that he was feeling good and he enjoyed himself for his birthday. So that's when I, I narrowed down my niche to romance travel. Um, so that's just a little bit about me. A little bit more information about me is uh, my title is a romantic getaway travel specialist at Travel Romantic Getaways. Like I said, I help couples to book romantic getaways, vow renewals, family adventures. Um, and I, I enjoy doing the anniversary getaways as well. You can connect with me on Instagram. Um, you, you're on my page if you if you do land on this webinar, which is Travel Romantic Getaways. And uh, my focus is creating memories of a lifetime and maximizing uh, your time by handling every last detail of your trip so you don't waste time piecing together those itineraries. That's my job. That's not your job. Your job is to focus on other things like work, kids, priorities, uh, responsibilities at the house, cars, all that good stuff. But my job is to focus on setting up the trip for you. And uh, once you're ready to go on the trip, it's all about you relaxing, having a good time. You know, it, whether it's a massage you set up, you know, as far as your activities or you, you and your spouse decided to do a, a nice excursion um, that dealt with adventure, whatever it may be. That's my job is to uh, plan, prepare that, and research those options for you. And then when you're ready to go, you're just ready to pack your bags and be ready to go. Um, so yeah, that's just a little bit about me. So let's now jump into those 12 reasons why travel agents are so important, travel professionals, and uh, definitely provide you with those, those reasons and some in information. So the first reason is travel agents are real people. OK, um, so unlike booking engines, uh, travel agents can actually respond directly to individual questions and requests, no matter how small or unique. And unlike booking engines, agents can get to know the clients and build that trust. So the whole point of my agency is to that's why the romantic getaway session is so important. It's actually a complimentary romantic getaway session to speak with you and find out what specifically is your travel style. And because my clients are mostly couples, I love to speak to both of them, okay? I've had in the past where I actually spoke to just one individual um, and that, that don't work out right. So uh, I would directly love to speak to both of the, the, uh, the spouses um, because they are both planning this trip. They're both taking this trip together. So I would love to know each one of their travel style. Um, and so we are real people that you can speak to directly. When you go to those, those websites like booking.com or Expedia and all that stuff. And let me first say this. I'm not saying that those are not good sites to book your travel. Okay. Because I have a specific type of client, not everybody I work with. Right. So if you are that person that enjoys booking the trip yourself, you love to put in the research, the planning, the prep and all that good stuff. 
and uh, you love to go to those sites to book your trip, then I might not be the person that need to help you to book the trip because you already got it nipped in the bud. But if you are one of those type of people or that couple that would prefer somebody else to do it for you while you focus your time on other things, or maybe it's a big trip that you're planning, right? Um, then I might be that person to help you to plan and book your trip. So the thing with us is travel agents, you can you can text us, you can call us directly. You don't have to have, you know, an 800 number unless, you know, it, it might be some travel advisor, they might have an 800 number, but Expedia and Booking.com and all these, you're going to speak to a representative. Then if you need to call back in, you're going to get somebody new. Whereas if something happens with your trip, you're going to speak directly to me. Um, whether it's via Zoom, it's via text or phone call. So we are real people that you are speaking to to help to plan, research, and book your trip. Number two is travel agents are connected. So we know which travel suppliers, representatives, uh, destination management companies, on-the-go personnel to contact before, during, and after your trip. So the thing with I don't know every travel agent, but I can I can give you an example of myself is that I have a specific type of suppliers that I work with on a continuous basis. Um, and if I need to reach out to a new supplier, depending on possibly what type of destination you're trying to do and all that good stuff, I am connected with that travel supplier as well. Um, so we have specific travel advice, I'm sorry, specific travel suppliers that we speak to whenever we're booking trips for our clients. Um, we're connected to those people and we know those people. So uh, we're very connected to suppliers in the industry. Um, and so if you need help with like your flights, you're trying to do any specific upgrades, we know those specific resorts, suppliers companies, if you're trying to do an excursion, whatever it may be, where you can uh, speak with us and we can go directly to those suppliers to talk to them, talk, talk to them about your specific uh, wants and needs for your trip, okay? Uh, number three is travel agents save time and money, okay? So in fact, a study by the American Society for Travel Agents found that travelers use a travel agent reported saving an average of $452 and four hours of planning time per trip, okay? So we can definitely save our clients money. We do love deals and finding deals for our clients. But let me tell you the, the, the main thing that we can help our clients with, time, okay? <laughs> Time, 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 time. The reason why I say that is it takes a lot of time and this is my job, okay? So it takes a lot of time for us to contact suppliers to uh, set up the trip. If any changes are made, made such as name changes or itinerary changes or uh, flight cancellations, we that stuff takes a lot of time. So if you, like I said, if you are the type of person that enjoys doing it and you don't mind calling up the, you know, Expedia or booking, booking.com or hotels.com to make those changes or, you know, to, to call about cancellations and stuff like that, then more power to you. Okay. Definitely do what works for you. But we save our clients a lot of time because when those things pop up or those changes are made, that's something that we definitely have to uh, we have to do. OK, um, so. We save our clients a lot of time because they can be focused on other things that uh, for as other priorities, if they need to focus on kids, if they need to focus on work, whatever it may be. We can do that work for them and just follow up with them and let them know what we found uh, to make it convenient for them. Number four is travel agents are proactive. So in case of an emergency or even just to anticipate their client's needs, uh, we can spring into action on our client's behalf. So for instance, when the weather is bad, we'll keep an eye out on you know, those types of things to to definitely keep you um, in the know of what's going on and what's happening, okay? 
Uh, travel agents know the difference between a great deal and great value. So we're all about providing value to our clients. Okay. Like I said, um, the main reason why people come to us as travel agents is they're, they're looking for a great deal, but they're looking for the experience. And if as a travel agent, I can provide that experience for my client, then that might be a returning client. They might be sent somebody that say, hey, we took this trip out to Jamaica. We enjoyed ourselves. We will be looking forward to uh, coming to you, you know, in the next couple of months or even a year for our anniversary getaway because we just enjoyed the, the planning that you did, the setting up and all that good stuff. So uh, we can definitely find the great deals because they're always available. But the main thing I love to focus on is the value and the experience that I can provide to my clients before, during, and after their trip. So number six, travel agents are product and destination experts. So one thing about travel agents is that we focus on being the expert at specific destinations. Um, and we're not the go-to person for everybody or the go-to person on every destination. Like I told you at the beginning, I focus on the Caribbean, Mexico, and the U.S., um, and my product knowledge continues as I continue to be a travel agent. So uh, we focus on specific resorts, cruises, uh, ships, activities to sell to our clients. And that doesn't stop as long as we continue to breathe and service our clients. Um, so we do focus on product knowledge and uh, becoming an expert at destinations as well. Um, number seven is travel agents eliminate the stress and anxiety associated with planning travel. So like I said, uh, we focus on the planning, the preparing, the researching, and the booking for our clients. And this allows them to not feel overwhelmed, not to feel stressed, not to focus on those things, uh, rather than them doing all of those things. Uh, and being confused on websites, trying to find deals. You know, we're basically like the one-stop shop for travelers, no matter how complex their trip is. So that's why they hire us to focus on those things for them. Number eight is travel agents provide travel inspiration. So I know when the pandemic happened, you know, what, about two years ago, it's already been two years. Has it been two years? Yeah. Uh, a lot of people was having a little bit of a depression. You know, we're also coming into the recession. So one thing we try to focus on, even through those things, um, is providing travel inspiration by talking about specific uh, destinations that you can travel to, talk about your bucket list, your next trip for your anniversary getaway, your family adventure, romantic getaway, what, whatever it may be. And we focus on keeping that travel inspiration because it can be a time that you go a few years without traveling and you feel like, okay, so many things have popped up as far as responsibilities, priorities, things that I have to get done. And I've been wanting to take that trip but I have not taken it because I've been so focused on all those things. So we understand that life gets in the way and that whenever you're ready, we will still be here to help you to plan that trip or to, and that's why we focus on having that travel inspiration uh, there for you. So many people know that they want a vacation, but aren't sure where to start as well. So agents are full of creative ideas and suggestions that will make each traveler happy. So a lot of times when I book, when, when clients book a romantic getaway session, they may have an idea where they want to go, <coughs> excuse me, but we do also provide other options for them to, for them to take a look at. And they may keep what they want, or they may decide, you know what, I want to go with this suggestion that you provided to me. Can you? see about looking up options for me. We can definitely look into that for them as well. Number nine is travel agents pay attention to the details. So one thing I have to give myself props for, I gotta, gotta pop my collar a little bit, is I'm very detail oriented. I'm one of those type of travel agents that have to double and triple check to make sure that everything is looking good for my clients because 
I try to avoid as many errors as possible. Okay, I want you to take this trip and not be stressed out. So we are very, very good at paying attention to the details. So experienced travel planners, they know the best times to visit those certain destinations, which rooms at a resort are the most desirable, and which cruise cabins offer the extra square foot or two. So we love to look into those things um, and also provide recommendations for our clients. And if we provide those recommendations, we ask, you know, are you open to looking into this room upgrade? Or, you know, you, you mentioned about this specific type of excursion that you wanted to do. Is this something that you, you might be open to doing? You can always say no, okay? It's just a recommendation. We're not, I'm not trying to force you to do it. It's up to you to decide if you wanted to get that room upgrade or you might want to do this activity or excursion. But that's what we're here for, to pay attention to the details. Number 10 is travel agents are experienced travelers themselves. So we're full of helpful travel tips and trips to make clients' trips easier. For instance, um, we can advise clients on what clothes to bring for a week-long cruise. Another thing is I have for my clients like this, this um, packing list for a couple to, to take a look at and decide, okay, um, is this something I want to look at? Now, if you're an experienced packer and you don't need to, you don't need the to-do list, then you can definitely do what works for you. But the to-do list is just there just in case you might forget something or just in case you want to add or subtract something. So I do offer like a to-do list for couples um, far as a packing list for them to check out and uh, look for before they travel, go on their adventure. Uh, number 11 is travel agents are advocates for their clients. So we do work for you. You know, we work for ourselves, but we definitely work for you because you are the person that has reached out to us on uh, booking a trip and have hired us to, uh, to book that trip, to plan, prepare, and book that trip for you. So um, we're not advocates for the supplier, which we do work with them to help you to book your trip, but we're more of an advocate for you. So uh, agents only receive, we do receive our commission after a client has traveled. So, uh, so they have every incentive to provide excellent customer service from start to finish. Okay. Also, of course, we want to make sure that you, you know, could possibly be a returning client or you could possibly offer a referral or a testimonial for, for us. So we wanna make sure to provide that excellent customer service to you um, for you to possibly be a future client, you know, a returning future client for us um, or provide like a testimonial or a referral for us as well. And number 12 is travel agents are fueled by their passion for helping others, okay? Sometimes this is it, this is, <laughs> This is a good thing, but this, this can also be a bad thing for uh, travel agents. That's why when you get to the point where you're more experienced, then, you know, you, you, you know how to handle this one. But at the end of the day, travel is about making memories. It's about having that experience. So for, for us as agents, helping to create those special moments is what drives us to continue to go that extra mile, to continue to book travel for our, our specific target audience of the clients that we book travel for. Um, and then, you know, we also love to travel. So we definitely love to do those fam trips. We love to uh, have that experience to report it back to our specific target audience to let them know, okay, I went to this specific destination or this specific hotel, and this is what I found. Maybe it might be something that you might be interested in yourself. So we love to travel. We love to get that information, even if it's not us specifically traveling. Maybe we've researched a destination or taken a, a class, because like I said, it's continuing, it's, it's continued education for us. Uh, we probably researched or took a class on a specific destination or a resort. So whatever information that we have, we love to report it back to our clients to see if they may be open to taking a trip to that specific destination or resort um, or trying out a new food or a new location um, for as an adventure 
I'm sorry, an activity or an excursion as well. So those are the 12 top reasons people hire travel agents. Uh, one other thing I did want to mention is unlike a website, your travel agent is someone you can get to know, like, and trust. I should have put like in there too, but you can get to know, like, and trust. That's the whole point of having your personalized travel agent. And you might hear my little man in the background, but having your own travel agent because, and I want to say this during business hours, right? You can definitely reach out to your travel agent. Sometimes you might send a text or you might send out an email or pro probably uh, do a phone call and might get their voicemail after business hours, but that's definitely okay. We try to reach out to our clients as quickly as possible. If we can't do it, then we'll definitely, you know, if it's after business hours, reach out to them the next day, unless it's an emergency, like you need to cancel your trip, um, you need to cancel a flight or something like that. We try to respond back as quickly as possible, even after business hours, to try to make sure to, to uh, get that resolved for you. So we strive to offer clients the best experience, whether it's couples, you know, a couple's weekend getaway or a group, group trip to uh, the Bahamas or Jamaica. It's whatever works for you. So like I said, if you're one of those type of people that enjoys booking the trip yourself, going to the booking online, the Expedia, you know, uh, Travelocity and all that kind of stuff, then definitely do what's best for you. But if you're one of those people that don't have the time or maybe you even have the time, but you don't want to do it, right? I'm one of those people, you know, I could learn how to do my own taxes because it's tax season, right? I can learn how to do my own taxes. I can probably find, you know, education on YouTube. I can probably Google it and learn how to do my own taxes, but I don't want to learn how to do my own taxes. Because <laughs> first off, I don't want to mess up. Second off, I don't want to go through any numbers. I don't want to do that. So what I do is every year I have a tax lady that does my taxes, okay? I have a woman, a lactician that I go to to do my locks you know, every few months. Now I have tried to get the tool and try to lock my own hair, interlock it, because that's how I get my hair done. I do interlocking. I've tried to go on YouTube and I say, you know what? I can do this myself. Let me go on YouTube and do it myself. I got, I purchased the tool. I washed my hair and, and did all that good stuff. And then I went into the, I went into the bathroom thing and I was going to learn how to lock my hair. And found out real quick and in a hurry, no, uh, you need to go, you need to find your lactician. So I go to, I have a lactician, I have a young lady that does my hair. Every few months I go to her, go to her to do my hair. I don't want to do it. So I hire somebody to do it. And that's the same thing with people that hire travel agents. They don't want to do it. They don't want to put in the time, the research, and the planning, especially if it's a big trip to do it themselves. So what they do is they reach out to a travel agent that they know, like, and trust and have the travel agent to do it for them. And that's what it's all about. We love to help people book trips and provide that experience before, during, and after your trip. That's what it's all about, is providing the knowledge and the experience to help you to book your trip. So if you are ready to get started, you can definitely go to chatwithlatoya.com. That's chatwithlatoya.com to book your complimentary romantic getaway session. If you see a time that doesn't work for you, you can definitely um, just email me. Let me put my email address real quick. Uh, my email address is Latoya at travelromanticgetaways.com. So you can email me there and say, hey, Latoya, I went to your website, but I didn't see a time that worked for me. Excuse me. So you can definitely go to email me and go to Latoya at travelromanticgetaways.com. I would love to hear if you if you didn't find a time that worked for you. Um, and let's schedule a time that is convenient for you for us to speak. But if you are ready to get started, you can go to chatwithlatoya.com to book your romantic getaway session. Um, if you are not ready to book a trip just yet, uh, I did have one other thing I wanted to offer. You can definitely go ahead. It's a free guide. Um, it's a guide that I created. I have the uh, top 20 weekend romantic escape destinations. So you can definitely go to this link right here 
to uh, get your guide and download it for free. I'm going to also put that in the chat as well. Let me see if I still got it. Hold on. And you can definitely use this link to download your free guide. And basically, it provides you with some information on the uh, the top 20 uh, romantic escape destinations that you can definitely uh, utilize uh, that's in the United States. So if you are traveling in the United States and you want to do like a weekend getaway or you want to do, you know, like a few days during the weekday with your spouse or even, you know, whatever days work for you, you can check out this uh, this this romantic escape destination. It is 20 destinations and it provides you with some activities depending on that destination. It also provides you what you can do at that destination as well. And these are the top 20 uh, romantic escape destinations in the United States. So if you're still looking to possibly plan later on this year or the middle of this year, which I still say is good to go ahead and book that romantic getaway session, you can definitely, um, you don't want to book it just yet. You can definitely check out this free guide. And in the meantime, hopefully that helps you to be prepared and ready to book your romantic getaway uh, when you're ready. So that's pretty much it for me. I definitely want to say thank you so much for coming on to uh, check out this live. And hopefully this provides you with some uh, information on why travel agents are still important and why we help, how we help our clients and what we do. Um, so I hope you enjoy the rest of your day and that you also take care of yourself.